Hello friends and fellow journeyers. Welcome to today's episode. I'm excited to share this little story with you. We took a few days to rest up after our recent offshore sail and now we're ready to tackle some chores and explore this little town of Port A. Hey there, I'm Matt. This is Nancy, Olivia, and Mocha. Last year, we sold our house and everything we own to buy a sailboat. Now we're living aboard, learning how to sail, live at anchor, and hopefully leave land. Come along on our journey. What's on the uh, what's on the agenda today? Well, um, we are going to clean the boat inside. We're going to go do a run to the grocery store so that we can get some Christmas Eve and Christmas foods, and then we're going to come back and clean the outside of the boat. Then I'm watching a Christmas movie. It's happening. Die Hard? No! That's not a Christmas movie. <laughs> okay. What movie? I don't know. Something really Christmassy. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. So this product is a wood cleaner. Catalina uses real wood in the boat, so I chose this seventh generation wood cleaner. Not only does it clean the wood, but it also has a little bit of oil in it. Um, so it kind of boils the wood with it and it has a really, really nice scent, kind of a lemon tree peppermint smell. So it's really good. So after I clean with the seven generations wood cleaner, I let it dry a little bit and then I pull out the trusted old, old English lemon fragrance, put a little bit on my rag and I add that to the wood. This one I've done, that one I haven't. I don't know if you can see the difference, but this one is definitely a little more shiny than that one. Adds a little oil to it, makes it look pretty. And I'm the floor man. So cleaning the floors is as simple as sweeping up the debris, a little water and vinegar for the first round of wiping. Offshore was nasty because we're always in and out of the cabin here with our shoes on. And so any salt water on the bottom of the shoes or just any grime is coming down in here. And it just builds up really nasty. Two days worth of sailing. We've got to clean up and wipe up. Pooping. Oh no! Poop bombs! Ah! They're gonna poop on you! Okay. Tonight we have Thai, Thai curry, and coconut milk with tomatoes ah, and turmeric. It's gonna be a lovely base with shrimp, bamboo, peppers, and potato over rice. Yum, yum, yum. So what did you decide on for birthday cake? He's gonna get a lemon cake with vanilla frosting. For Who's he? Birthday. Whose birthday? Dad's birthday's Your coming birthday. up. I think we have enough, don't you think? Yes. Mile 11. We almost forgot. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right, this is Adam, our favorite taxi driver. Hi. We won't distract him too much while he's driving. What's uh, good to do in the area, Adam? Um, fishing, eating, fishing. and drinking. <laughs> oh, we love all of it. <laughs> and we're only good at two of those things. Adam, what do you think those are, the two that we're good at? Eating and drinking. You got it, you got it. He knows we're not fishermen. I need to catch some fish though. You think I can fish off the, oh, yeah. the marina jetties yeah. there? A little popping cork and a gulf, a gulp. Ghost going to work or live bait. Uh, okay, cool. We we're not finished cleaning the boat yet. What do we have left? Hmm, not much. I'm gonna clean the bathroom. We need to clean outside and put the icing glass back up. Yeah. <laughs> wash the boat. I'm gonna wash the outside. Give it a good wash. Olivia and I have some laundry to fold to put away. Cookies to cook. Eggnog to drink. 
and I'm gonna work on a video for you guys. Oh. We had a uh, really big north wind last night. Third is like what, 40 to 50 knots blowing in. The north is this way. So you got these little jetties here that block the water. But the wind from the intercoastal canal just. And we're the first boat that gets hit. And I put out five fenders. You can see they're quite crushed. Uh, last night they were just completely. We woke up at 3 a.m. I threw a few more lines on, but that didn't really do much. The fenders were really the only thing holding the boat. It was just crushed against the pier. We were healed a good 15 degrees. And uh, the way we sleep in our cabin, our, our heads are downhill uh, when the boat was healed. So anyway, it was pretty, pretty vicious. But it's a beautiful day as a result. All right, we're back at the uh, cleaning day here. This is day number two. We uh, took the evening off yesterday, had a good time. And what do we do? Watch a little 007 last night uh, and just relax. I think we made some curry, that was great. And now it's time to get the salt off this boat. Man, it, it really got salty. And I rinsed it when we came in. I rinsed it yesterday. Uh, but just water rinse is not getting the salt off. So I'm gonna do a little scrub. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. What's up? What's up? A bad way to spend Christmas shorts in a tank top. Not a bad way at all. All right, a little uh, lunch action now. Oh, a little Prosecco. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Oh, job well done on cleaning the boat. Inside's clean, outside's clean, and we really just have one job left. That's just to clean the water strainers. And it's just time for that maintenance. So we're gonna enjoy a little lunch here. And, <clears throat> cheers mates. Cheers. Mm, pickles and Prosecco is really good. <laughs> it's really good. And a combo. <laughs> Today is Port Aransas Exploration Day, so we are going to catch the bus or the little trolley. It's a quarter per person, which is pretty cool. We'll take you anywhere in Port Aransas for that quarter, and they get here at 1022. So today we're going to make it. We're going to have fun. We're going to go to the beach. We're going to go explore the nature preserve, I think. So right now we are headed to golf carts, so the trolley didn't come at 1022. What? We'd have to wait another hour if we wanted to get the trolley. Why so. did it not come? Um, I don't know, some sort of delay, or they're going somewhere else. Maybe Messed they're up. closed today, we don't know. Oh, oh they're behind. Oh, oh, is that them? It is 1040, we gave up on them. We're running back, we're running back. All right. We're at the Patton Marine Education Center, and my lovelies took out their cameras and went straight to work. All right, let's go, uh, I don't know, find some sand. Yeah. Beautiful day. It's got to be 
70 in the sun? Mm, I don't know. Maybe 65? The high today is 66. Alright. See what we can find. Let's do it. Lands are home to a variety of species, including rattlesnakes, rabbits, pelicans, <laughs> seagulls. And mosquitoes. There's one on your shirt. Mosquitoes, Ooh. even during the daytime. <laughs> This is where we're gonna go anchor next. This is where we are. Ah, ah. <laughs> Hurry up, show us. We're gonna go up here and around this island. Nice. Next. Starry eyes and cellophane, she takes her walk, she makes her plan. A truck bails down the avenue, there's broken glass, a missing pew at church. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool place. Port Aransas has two thumbs up for me. Um, just walking through the wetlands, the jetties, and now at the beach. The water in the marina was nice and clear water and the surf is clean and clear. This is a lovely place. The town with all the restaurants, everything's walkable. I'm loving it. So now that we're at La Playa, we need to walk to La Playa Tex-Mex restaurant and get a little grub on. I'm having a great time. You have a good time, Libby? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Was young when mom got cancer, here life comes on Dasher Dancer. Raised up his little sister on his own, brushed her hair and watched her grow. And I'm exhausted and I need water. But we're going to the playa, not the beach, um, the restaurant. <laughs> um. All right, here we are. Crazy Cajun. And La Playa should be right on the other side. La Playa doesn't open till 5 and we're starving and we're tired and thirsty but there's another place around the corner we're gonna check it out all right maybe I'll write you from the other side I'm just gonna take it slowly I'm just gonna live one day at a time I hope you Oh, what a walk. That was nice. I don't know how many miles it was. We'll look it up later. But it was pleasant. I really wanted to go to La Playa. But Cancun was highly recommended by some um, liveaboards we met at the marina. So we'll try this out. They say they're open and we are hungry. Yes, this is the run in. I don't this is know. it. Yep. I doubt. We're all going to have to wash our hands. I'll write you from the other side. Thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you enjoyed Port Aransas. Uh, it's a lovely place, and we haven't even scratched the surface here. I think you could spend a week. Um, dinging out, fishing out, just right out here, right outside the harbor, enjoying the restaurants, enjoying your own cockpit, just watching the sunrises, sunset, oh, sunsets, <laughs> excuse me. And uh, I think the water is beautiful, the beach is great. It has everything you really need to spend a solid week. And that's not even including any time you'd spend out anchoring in Corpus Christi Bay or sailing, which we didn't even have a chance to do. So we're going to have to come back uh, here shortly to try it out. But I do, th I do think our, uh, our time.
time here is coming to a close. So we're going to wrap it up and just move on down the water to our next destination. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next, next week. And hopefully I won't have the hiccups. <laughs> Cheers. All right, looks like we're gonna do a little drop the girls off. And there's a fellow down the way here who's docking a large boat. And I'm gonna go assist him, kind of be a tugboat for him, push him around. Tugboat duty, here we go. Right there. Tell me when you want some fork. Yeah, you can push on me a little bit. Okay. Hey, it looks good. It's your thing, man. Yeah, it definitely helps. Whenever I told him that he was trying to push it that way, it was just a little bit perfect. Give it a few feet there, yep. Yeah. yeah, man. Hey, take care. Good to meet you. We'll see you on the water sometime. Some of us are crazy enough as it is. We don't want to have additional chemicals breathed into our lungs. <laughs> Mrs. Myers, get yours today. Oh, look, I'm no Steven Spielberg, so I got the hiccups from the Mexican food. Sorry if that last footage was a little bit uh, jer jerky every time I hicked up. So Olivia and I are sitting here waiting for the bus to come and pick us up to take us back to the boat. The bus is supposed to be here at 2.13, but Matt decided he wanted to be a fisherman and go get some tips at this little tackle place across the street. If he doesn't make it back, we've decided we're going to leave him. Cheers.